Hey, you see guy 1948 here. Today we are going to try something very dumb. We're going to pull a tree down with a mower. No, we are going to see if this will wrap around that and mow this section of yard. I've seen this on other videos and I was curious how well it actually worked. You've probably already seen the video where I wrapped it around that tree and the proof of concept seemed to be there. Uh, I've got this just tied up here, kind of shooting through the chute and going out to the tree seem to work over there. We'll see if it works over here. Beginning to realize I should have brought a lawn chair. We should miss the owl. Yep, I measured that out right. Got her stopped. Hmm. Doing so good. she goes <laughs> well I guess it works it uh, you can see where it skip 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 so does it work not really I mean I guess if you were able to figure out a way to get it to turn in a little bit more or I don't know some way to get that to not hit that but the setup and everything you gotta bring the rope out, get the mower out, and then figure out how long a rope you want, wrap it around the tree, wrap it around the mower, start your mower, and then keep an eye on it the whole time. 
uh, I don't know if this is the fastest way to do this. With a rider, I would have done... Probably would have got this whole area done in less time and still would have mowed from there to there. At least with my Toro, I would have. So, uh... So this is a good little mower though, this Troy built Tough Cut 230. It is just it just runs and runs and runs. I have I have used it for quite a while. I've probably had it a good eight years or so and it was used when I got it. And since I got it, it has been put through the ringer. The uh, only thing I didn't like was it had this starter assist on it where it like tensions off the the recoil and then you're supposed to push down on this as you pull back and it's supposed to uncoil the spring and start the engine which in theory sounds like a great idea except if it doesn't start the engine uh then you used up all your coil and you have to basically manually wind it back up to try again or there was some way you could hold this back and pull and it would disengage it but uh yeah, I ended up bypassing that whole thing because the mechanism quit working right. And uh, the drive does not does not really do anything. I just, I live with it. I have to shut it off by pulling the spark plug wire. And I just, I've lived with it so long, I'm just so used to it. It doesn't really bother me. But <laughs> I guess you use something unsafe long enough, you just learn to live with it. So... All right, I think that's going to do it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I'd try this. It just doesn't seem worth the time. Have a great day.